What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I got a bit more breaking news for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. It's some pretty exciting news, actually. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as you can see here, there are a couple, uh, multiple people are reporting this, but the Dolphins have signed a running back, Chase Edmonds. Now, if you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, remember on my list of running backs for free agency, he was on the list. He was on the list for potential guys for them to look at. So I like it. I do still want to see them draft a running back, Brees Hall, Isaiah Spiller, Kenneth Walker in the second round. And I would still love for them to bring back Duke Johnson and Phillip Lindsay. But I do like them bringing him in. Armando Salguero, Chase Edmonds, Chase Edmonds to the Dolphins per Drew Rosenhaus. Averaged 5.1 yards per rush as a change of pace back in Arizona last season. Started 11 games because James Conner got hurt. Um... Uh, let's see, Miami Dolphins, Adam Schefter, Miami Dolphins, and running back Chase Edmonds reached an agreement on a two-year, $12.6 million deal that includes $6.1 million guaranteed per his agent. The former Cardinals running back is headed to Miami. So, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, you know, and it's funny because people, oh, by the way, also, one other thing I wanted to mention, they, um, they actually did, or the Browns cut Jarvis Landry. Now, I always liked Juice. I wanted to keep him around. Um, I don't know if the Dolphins would sign him, but he'd be interesting if he would come back, you know, if he'd come back home. I'm not sure that's exactly what we need, though, at the at the wide receiver position, but I certainly wouldn't hate it if the price was right and everything. Just wanted to throw that in there. Um, but anyway, fucking love it, love it, love it. And I just wanted to say, people always called me negative, bro. But it's not that. It's just I didn't like the philosophies of the old regime. I didn't like the way they were running things and handling business. But so far, look, I mean, they, this regime and, you know, Mike McDaniel has a lot to prove still. But so far, I like the way that they've built that offensive coaching staff. Sam Madison and Pat Sertain are here on defense. You know, they're making the right moves. Gesicki's tagged. Emmanuel, um, Emmanuel Ogba signed up for the next four years. Bring in Chase Edmonds. I like that move. They're doing good things. And, and with the moves we expect them to make, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, um, yeah, man, it's it's beautiful stuff. It's beautiful stuff. Um, so let's just keep it pushing. Anyway, if there's any more news, I definitely will... Um, <clears throat> I definitely will obviously give you that. Like I said, I was kind of up early today, so got an opportunity to give you guys some breaking news. But anyway, let me get up out of here. Before I do, make sure you check out the Rave on Sports app, the new fan-driven sports app for all of your sports, whether it be basketball, baseball, football, college, whatever you like, they got it, and they are looking to enhance your game day experience with live play-by-play -play coverage, live chats with other fans and content creators like myself, while also providing you with an arena to dispute the terrible officiating. So make sure you look for the links to that in the description box. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. And of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro, as well as on Instagram at Dolphins underscore with underscore Dylan. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up. Seven seconds left. Tannehill will throw it. Miami wins it.